Welcome back to another video guys. This is your host Junior Garcia. Before anything, hammer the like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and leave the comments below. Before I share this nightmare, let's hit the intro guys. Hey guys, welcome to another remodel. We are in another remodel. Keep watching. So today I am taking the liberty of sharing, you know, what generally happens amongst the contractor lives that you kind of don't hear about it, right? I want to share this because people that are still buying homes may encounter this nightmare. And guess what? This is not the first. This is not the second, this is not the third. Probably about five different stories that I personally know that this has happened about the home inspector, right? The wrong home inspector. And that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about, the wrong home inspector. You're a new, or you're gonna buy a brand new home. The first thing that you wanna do is you're gonna get your credit fixed, you're gonna get a mortgage guy, you're gonna get pre-approved, you're gonna find a real estate agent. And then after all that, you find the house and then you put a bid in. And after you put in the bid, guys, guess what? They accept the bid and they said, yes, we want to sell you the home. Now you as the home buyer that's new, that's a newbie that doesn't know nothing you don't know what a nail you don't know what a hammer is i'm so sorry but you don't and then what happens is you hire a home inspector because your real estate agent or your mortgage guy says you need to get a home inspector right so you get the home inspector to come in and you just hire any person that somebody probably randomly tells you about so today i want to take the second to share you what happened here in the town of Livingston. Yeah, I'm not gonna give the person's name. I'm not gonna give the home inspector's name. I'm not here to discredit him or his business, but I wanna share the story of what really happened. Let's go back, reverse, to 2020. 2020, guys, um, we were in the pandemic, uh, and just for the people that don't know, we're in 2022, but the pandemic is almost kind of, it's gone. It's kind of flying away. Um, the pandemic was very, very real in 2020, 2019, 2020. And what happened was real estate agent says, well, you're gonna have to get a home inspector. The home inspector can come in and inspect the house, right? But you cannot go into the house. You can only go into the house and look around the house for 10 minutes and then you have to leave, right? Which was just fine for the home buyers. The home inspector came in and inspected the house and said, guess what? The house is perfect. You can buy it. There's no problems. There's no issues. Fast forward to two months from that time when they actually closed on the deal, the homeowner started getting roof leaks. And then the homeowner started to try to open and close the windows and they would not open. And then he would go to his garage and there was a roof leak by his garage. And then he was getting a roof leak by the chimney area. Then he went to the other window. The window would not even open. The other one would not close. Then he started to notice everything, everything in his house. So finally, he decided to get an engineer. Engineer told him, you have this much, this, this problem, this problem, this problem, this problem. How did the home inspector didn't tell you all this before? You know, uh, you know, giving you a clean bill of health, right, for your home. And then, so now the homeowner, two months in, he says, Junior, can you just come to my house? I wanna get a price for a roof and a siding job and maybe possibly windows. I said, sure, you're actually not too far from my office. So he, very nice guy, him and his wife. And I went to his house, I started to walk around and I started to see James Hardy siding. But I, the way I saw it was, it was not installed correctly. The siding was starting to crumble in different areas. Um, I saw where there was no flashing in the butts, and we call it butt flashing in between each siding. There was a lot of different things going on. I saw insulation coming out of, uh, from underneath the deck or enclosed porch area. 
the chimney was coming away from the, the structure, the main structure of the house. The chimney was coming away about four inches and he was getting a lot of rain. So I said, let me walk up to the roof. So I walked up to the roof, guys. He said, well, the, the, he said that the roof was only about, about five to six years old. And I was like, okay. So then if you guys follow me on Instagram and you follow my stories, and don't forget guys, if you don't, go to my Instagram page, follow us, look at the stories during the day because I kind of share a lot of different things. And I actually share this story in my story so the people that have watched it in my stories already know and you saw the pipe flashing coming in between two valleys where a roof meets another roof there was a vent pipe coming under coming in the middle of that valley uh, nails were popping up everywhere shingles were missing the shingles were I'm gonna say were about 20 to 24 years old and I, I want to share this right because the purpose for a home inspector is to inspect the house inside and out and to thoroughly check everything is the electrical working is the electrical box updated um is there a sub pump is this a flood zone right is there any roof leaks do the windows work right how, uh, how is the gas uh the gas stove are the pilots working does the stove turn on correctly? They go to the basement, they check the, the HVAC, they, they check the heating system. They check every single thing that me and you don't know about. Maybe you have a water softener in your home. They know how to check that. So I say all this, right? Because we're hiring somebody that's professional, that knows how to make a report and say, this is wrong. This is wrong. The roof is leaking. The windows do not open. There's a foundation in the crack. And so, so generally what happens is that the inspector will know everything in his report and he will suggest or recommend, since there's a crack in your foundation, you need a foundational expert to come in and determine how much that's gonna cost to repair it. There's an, on the second floor. The second floor, there is a big slope and if there's a wave on the floor, well, you might have to hire a general contractor to come in to see if the structure is holding right. If the load bearing beams are holding the floor joists correctly. Why is the floor uneven? You wanna call in a plumber, the, the toilet doesn't fl flush correctly. You know, the, you know, I turn on the lights over here. I turn off the lights, but the lights in the basement go off. What's going on? You might need an electrician. So then what happens is the inspector makes this report and then when he compiles this report, he will make suggestions. Then you will get quotes from contractors or get more inspections. And then what, what happens will be that they will tell you, you need to repair this. It's gonna cost this much. It's gonna cost this much. It's gonna cost this much. And then you present it to your lawyer and your lawyer will negotiate with the seller to lower the price of the home or to give you concessions or they will make repairs, right? To make the house sound and perfect. I have a client, her name is Sarah, Sarah Holmes, right? Um, she always follows me on Instagram and you know, shout out to her and her uh, partner as well. And Sarah has probably done roughly in the past two and a half years, roughly around 30, roof inspection right so she will tell her client hey listen you need to get a roof inspection the report didn't come pretty good um i'm selling i'm helping you sell the house but i want to make sure and we'll go up there and inspect the roof for them take pictures go into the attic um you know we will thoroughly inspect to find out how many layers it, it has is there a chimney flashing is it flashed correctly around the um the skylight what's missing uh you won't believe the stuff that we found so she always hires me to do these inspections so their client is kind of free and clear and i will also provide an estimate for their clients just in case if they really need a roof right and i tell them listen this roof is new i've gone on roofs that are new and guess what they were installed incorrectly and Sarah was one of my clients and I let her know that this section needs to be done correctly. 
the roof is done this you know three parts three portions of this roof is done correctly but this portion is done incorrectly so what why do i say that you do not know what's on top of your roof right i'm a roofer i'm a cider right and i don't just want to be biased to this home inspection to a roof i tell you this is because most people when they do their home inspection they want to go in a nice bright sunny day and the birds are singing wrong you want to go at three o'clock and you want to go when it's raining outside because you want to see how much traffic is going up and down you want to go from three to six you want to see if it's really really busy right you want to find out if it's raining if your basement is going to get flooded you want to find out if your roof is water's coming through the roof go on a rainy day and then ask for another day oh i want to check out the house again why do i say this because you are saving thousands of thousands of dollars and that's why you hire a home inspector because his job is to save you thousands of dollars this client that hired us and we gave him a price to do the siding the windows um the roof as well and we did the home inspection for him the the specific home inspection because there was a home inspection done by this incompetent home inspector because i i want to say this because the truth is the truth what he did was in in his report he copied and pasted what was on his website from the roof section and put it on the report for this client so the client is reading every single thing that is on his website. Did you inspect my roof or you copied and paste? He never checked his roof. So now this home inspector finally got different quotes from different contractors and engineer came in and he's over, listen to me, over $100,000 in major repairs. Now bear in mind, this client came from the West moved over here got a job in the east in the new york city area right he found his home got it home inspected he said the perfect home bought the home two months later major leaks major problems doors wouldn't open windows wouldn't close or open uh foundational cracks he was having major major problems he called the home inspector the home inspector didn't return the phone call i surely wouldn't return the phone call why do i say this you're trusting somebody, guys, that if you're buying an $800,000 home, that he's gonna come in, you pay him $2,000 to make sure that everything is right, you have that peace of mind. This guy just walked around the house, copied and pasted, stood in his office, and didn't do nothing, and helped them sell that house. It, it, it's deception. There's no other way to, to color it. I say this, guys, because we, have to kind of wake up and choose the right home inspector before buying a home. I always um, say, if you're buying a house, get a roof inspection too. I do free roof inspections as well. You know, if you're the homeowner, right? If you're the home, if you're buying a house, obviously we offer a fee. And it's, it's sad. <laughs> Why is it sad? Because he had to sue the home inspector and the, the homeowner calls me up, he says, I want you to be an expert witness. Would you mind? I said, no, you know, I'll go over there and I'll, I'll tell them the truth, right? I'll tell them everything that I saw. So he had the engineer, he had an architect, he had myself and a couple other experts. And I mean, we went to litigation and I physically saw the home, the home inspector. And he's like, he's like putting his head down the whole time when I was pointing out things that were wrong in the siding it, that, the siding was actually deteriorating on top of the roof in different areas and he couldn't couldn't say anything but i did fight i fought for my client i stood up for him i share this story guys because the reality is that if you're gonna buy a home get a reputable home inspector listen i have people my clients that i do roofing siding additions uh, decks, they want three references. They, they, they don't want to just go on Google and see the Google reviews, right? They want three references. They want to physically call the last three people I did work for. They want to hear from them. 
I have had clients that have literally gone to their house and knock on the door and get the physical reference from them. Why? Because they're gonna invest X amount of dollars to get the project done, right? And so I say this to you, if you're the first time home buyer, you, you're probably a nervous Nelly. What, what, are we doing this right? And you and your uh, significant other saying, should we do it? Oh, what do you think the home inspector said this? Get a home inspector, get somebody reliable, get three references for him. You know, investigate, you know? We have, I mean, we have social media, we have the internet at your disposal for your benefit. So guys, I am definitely going to cut this video. I hope it was full of information. The sad part also is that my client is moving back to the West Coast. But I wanted to take a second, kind of reach out to you and bring some awareness that there's definitely good home inspectors and there's definitely bad home inspectors. I have a list myself that I can personally recommend. I'm not gonna re recommend anybody. I wouldn't put my name behind it, right? But I would definitely recommend, I have three that I can recommend to you guys. So if you definitely are in the New Jersey, New York area, I can definitely recommend them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below, you know, for more content like this. Soon you're gonna be seeing Mimi on video soon. She's super, super, super excited to get behind the camera. Keep watching.